I'm Lorna Dunkley, I'm a news presenter at Sky News and I studied communication studies. One of my biggest accomplishments has to be the coverage that I did on air during the Arab Spring that saw the fall of Mubarak, the fighting in very many Middle Eastern countries and I was on air sometimes for seven, eight hours at a time bringing the developing story as it was unfolding and it really felt like I was part of a moment in history. The university really helped me get where I am today. It gave me the confidence to go out on my own, to discover the world on my own. It provided me with the best friends that I have that have stayed with me for life. And it gave me a really sound training in what I ultimately came on to do professionally. My strongest memory of my time at the uni is actually a person who was one of my lecturers, one of my tutors, who really had an impact on me. He gave me um, a real thirst for journalism, for broadcasting. Um, he took me under his wing and, and encouraged me along and I'd never had a, a mentor like that in somebody who was also a lecturer and, and he had a really big impact on my life. The biggest challenge facing journalism, broadcast journalism, over the next decade or so I think is adapting to the times, adapting to new technology which is advancing so fast. And Sky News is pretty good at grabbing hold of new technologies, seeing how they can work for us as a news operation and, and ploughing forward with them. One of the other challenges facing this industry is the sheer number of people that want to be in it. It is a great place to work and be involved. Um, there are so many people, so it's managing getting the best talent to come to organisations like Sky News. The best advice I could give any student wanting to get into the media, into broadcasting, would be to go and do it. Get as many opportunities as you can to either go and do work experience, do some unpaid work, just go and tour uh, studios, newsrooms and, and make yourself available, make yourself seen in them because if you do that you've already got one foot in the door. Um, so just be there, go out, get work experience and get your face in there.